Good morning and welcome to the very first session of the Etsy virtual event on boosting the impact of research and innovation through standardization. I'm Guy Daniels and joining me now from France is Luis Jorge Romero, Director General of Etsy. Luis has over 30 years of experience in the telecoms sectors and has overseen the rapid development of Etsy's industry specification groups, accelerating market penetration of new technologies. Welcome, Lewis. Thanks for joining us. And indeed, thank you for hosting this event. Please tell us more about the work Etsy is doing on research and innovation. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Guy, for, for this introduction. And indeed, uh, thank you very much to uh, Telecom TV for helping us in uh, putting together uh, this, I think, very good uh, event, a virtual event, unfortunately, on boosting the impact of research and innovation through standardization. And I say, uh, unfortunately, because I would have liked to have everybody around in Etsy in, in our premises. But on the other side, uh, let's take this opportunity to, to extend and, and broaden the, uh, the, the footprint of, of the event and, and be able to access to many more people. Because I think it's going to be a, a very, very important uh, session uh, today. Um, this event is intended to be the very first of several because we believe uh, research and innovation is very, very important to the work of standardization. Hence, I, I believe this will be just the first step to many others that will help answer main questions that research and community uh, may have so that uh, we are uh, building uh, bridges and, and having uh, more cooperation between standardizers, researchers. Uh, as you know, uh, Etsy has been around for quite a while. We have been very much engaged into standardization in the last more than 30 years. And we have always had a very good relationship and very good connections to the uh, research and innovation uh, communities. Now, uh, being uh, at the forefront of standards development of innovative technologies uh, in order to serve members, we need uh, very much to be lining, uh, hand in hand, very much aligned to what the research and innovation community is bringing. And we need to facilitate the ways in, in which research and innovation get uh, closer to standards and standards get closer to research and innovation. Uh, I've been mentioning it, I think, research and innovation are very much the lifeblood of our work and it's essential to ensure that Etsy remains at the heart of ICT standards. It's essential to be able to ensure that Etsy keeps on delivering to the needs and requests of our members. So it's, it's very much in our interest that we could uh, and can keep on having a very close collaboration with the research community so that we can ensure that technology is fed into standards and finally implemented in a commercially available equipment so that those can also be deployed globally. I think it's, it's in, in the interest of the research and innovation communities and in our interest that what we develop and what we work on ends up hitting the, the marketplace. Uh, in our membership, which is uh, quite uh, extensive. Uh, um, we have uh, more than 900 members. And it's, uh, note, uh, it's, it's good to note that uh, out of this more than 900, more than 120 are directly involved in research and innovation. And this includes universities and research centers. So it's not just uh, huge commercial companies that uh, have these links, but also universities and research centers that are already cooperating with Etsy in the development of standards. In order to further uh, improve and, and further enhance this relationship that we have with the research and development community, we have started a number of, initiative, of initiatives that are meant to help uh, our relationship with that community. On one side, we have developed a research help desk 
with the aim of advising researchers and innovators that want to get involved in ETSIS activities. We know sometimes this is not straightforward. This needs a little bit of hand-taking. We are very ready to do that and to help these communities get uh, really uh, engaged in our work. We have very recently published a web page in our, in our site, and we have developed a brochure to explain a little bit how Etsy is, is linked to R&D. And uh, what's I think most, most, most relevant and, and most important, we have de dedicated our October uh, issue of our Enjoy magazine to research and innovation. If you have not had the time to uh, go through the pages of, of this uh, magazine, I recommend you do. I recommend you download it from our webpage and have a real look uh, at uh, all that this magazine con uh, contains. And by the way, now I, I could encourage you as well to try and, and, and subscribe so that you get uh, the magazine in your email. We have also developed an eight point plan that, is, that includes specific stage uh, steps to be followed by researchers that want to engage in our work. We have developed education about standards material. So what is uh, standardization about? Uh, how uh, we uh, deal with the different phases in standardization, which is not just uh, the technical or the, the, the drafting of, of uh, standard documents, but also uh, how we engage to the whole ecosystem. And there is a specific chapter which is dedicated to research, innovation and standards. Uh, we have tried also to cooperate with several institutions around uh, research. And I think it's, it's worth highlighting our cooperation with NetWorld 2020 on their uh, strategy a strategic uh, research agenda and our contribution is, is important there. Also with some of the associations that are dedicated uh, to uh, 5G in different aspects and particularly uh, interest has our cooperation with 5G IA, Infrastructure Association, on their work on research and standards roadmaps. And also uh, not to forget our very strong relationship with uh, the European Commission, uh, particularly uh, DigiConnect and research, to identify how we can get even more involved in research projects of the uh, European Union. As I said, we are very open for discussion and interactions with researchers and innovators, and we welcome and we uh, would like you to come and see us. We are ready to hear ideas. We are ready to help you drive work for standardization and see how we can help develop these ideas in order to be able to, to address the marketplace. Uh, this workshop, as you see, is split in two days. Uh, we will be able to hear from institutions and associations that have very close links to research and to us, to Etsy. Uh, we will hear speakers that come from the most significant actors involved in the ICT research in innovation and the standards ecosystem. We will try to examine the evolution of research and standards as we move from 5G deployments. And we need to address now new technologies and use cases that will be probably uh, start to be used in the 6G era. Um, throughout the sessions, the key is trying to see ways of further fostering ETSI's engagement with the research community and also facilitate the research community contribution to standardization. Uh, this one is meant to be a very, very interactive session. So please, please take this opportunity to engage in the sessions, to ask the speakers and to have a very fruitful debate. I'm sure this event will be very joyful. So thank you very much and I'll stop here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lewis. And as you said, there is an incredible lineup of speakers for this event and so much interest in this area. Hope to speak to you again very soon. We have two days of content still to come, as Lewis said, including presentations, panel discussions and interviews. And if you miss anything, don't worry, it will all be available to watch later on demand. Plus, we will be taking your questions during a live Q&A session at the end of each day. 
and you can submit your questions now. No need to wait for it to begin. Stay with us then for our next session, which is a presentation from Pierce O'Donoghue of DG Connect, who will be outlining the European policies that are driving the R&I agenda. Goodbye for now. Thank <laughs> you.